Oh, I did see this. Yeah. This this guy this guy was doing a um a criticism of Tears of the Kingdom, but he's like a Nazi addict, so it's really funny because his brain is an open book. Yeah, I, I saw this. I saw this. It's not it's not new to me. Look at this. It's very funny, okay? Oh, this is what the title looks like, by the way. So we have the meme image, and then we have hentai uh, Zelda next to large Ganondorf because Nazis and addicts. It's like a Venn diagram with one circle, you know? Here, hold on. It's pretty funny. You can tell the guy's a porn addict from the way he talks. And the queen was a, we'll say, dark elf. So despite the fact that the Grudo are clearly supposed It's always cuck NTR shit. It's literally always cuck NTR shit. Like 100% with these people. You can't- it's like a prerequisite for being an internet Nazi. You can't do it unless you, um, you, you have a thing for, like, interracial cuck NTR shit. Supposed to be like the Middle Eastern inspired race, I guess you could say, but they might even be a different species than Highlands. I'm there. I forgot about this part. He doesn't. He thinks it's ambiguous that the Hylians and the Gerudo women are a different species. Like he doesn't know. So he doesn't know shit. Yeah, I, he. They're twice the height of. Hi okay, yeah, no, it's. Okay, yeah, it's. They're a different species. It's, okay. I'm not sure. They could be like a sari and just take genetic material from Hylians to make more Gerudo, right? But no, now there's actually a lot of Hylians that are various shades of brown throughout the world. And of course, one of the founders of Hyrule set the stage for the entire series, created a wonderful Wakanda-esque utopia, is one of these brown Hylians. Almost literally, we was Kangs and shit. So much for- This is- this is how their minds are. This is this is all they have. They see they they see the the brown skin lady and they're like, "Oh my god. This is just like all those 4chan memes. Oh my god. This is just like all those drawings that I saw of black people with big lips and wide noses. It's just like it's all coming back like and that's and that's all they can think about. You know? They tend to be obsessed with Wakanda for some reason. Well, again, it's like they'll they they see like a black and white person standing next to each other and like a thousand yard stare, like like they're remembering the Nam flashback. It's just all cuck porn running through their brain at light speed, you know? You know, we call Nazis stupid, but their their brain, when operating on the highest processing power of which it's capable, which is when they're thinking about cuck interracial porn, can actually process stuff way faster than you or I can, okay? They'll see, they'll see like, any shit in media, and instantly, they've got like 20, 40, 90s up here, just processing 4K graphic cuck NTR hentai porn right through their head, you know? It's incredible stuff. It's like a special kind of autism. For Skyward Sword being the beginning of the series, and to dip into the schizo paint a little bit, the king being a goat man, who are the Zonai people who came from the heavens, My is borderline slow. satanic imagery. I have no idea if this is intentional or not, but Japan used to be infamous for putting weird Christian symbolism in anime and occasionally video games. He's, he's like one of the Catholic Nazi type, you know, it's the same, yeah. So this could be an extension of that, or again, if you want to take the schizo angle, this is a result of a certain cult organization full of quote-unquote elites that are subtly inserting their propaganda into video games. It is extremely subtle. He's, he, 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 when he recorded that, he was like, got him. They'll never get, they'll never understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm ten steps ahead of him. Like I said, that's why I said, like, his brain is wide open for us to read, you know? He's so subtle amount this is this is um this is like a big 4chan thing it's like the normie insider brain rot syndrome where they're so inundated in the special language of their like own personal psychosis that they think they're a wizard when they slip incredibly unsubtly slip like their insane beliefs into stuff you know what i mean i think there was actually even a worse clip of him that i saw um where where, where he was like Oh yeah, here we go. Flags like visiting a synagogue for no f reason. And again, can't even get into it or I'll be demonetized, shadow banned, all that shit. But 
it is weird that we get a mini history lesson on Judaism in the middle of this zombie apocalypse story. And on top of that, a major story point is Ellie and Big Schnoz's lesbian relationship and how an Asian guy... He recorded that and he was like, <laughs> got him. The normies, the normies will never see through my decision. <laughs> got, yeah, you know. <laughs> the normies will never know. Can you, can you imagine just thinking about race all the time? Like literally, like just that's, that's it, you know? And by the way, I want to be clear. I'm consistent on this because even though I don't think they're full of hate or like psychotic bullshit in the same way, I do think there are lefties or libs who think about race too much. Like that Robin D'Angelo tier, uh, you know, like over obsessive reparation, like white guilt correction bullshit. But this is like five steps beyond, man. Literally, like everything. It's just, it's just all the, the cuck NTR interracial stuff with no breaks. That's the whole life that they get. We're almost done with this. There's all sorts of little nuggets of wokeness, like Paya now having a giant brown boyfriend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he wrote the script with one hand. It's all he can think about. No, like I said, at the end of the day, fascism is just about sexual insecurity. Who looks like a Giga Chad in comparison to Link, this by the fact she was thirsting for his dick in the last one. Not to mention the quote-unquote subtle homosexual imagery from Breath of the Wild has been expanded even further in this one, and I already know people are going to say I'm reading into it. <laughs> Just maybe. <laughs> I know. Hey, I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, hey, you're being a little obsessive like you're you're non-stop thinking about this just a little he sees like a hand clasped in like respectful vow of a warrior to another and it's like all right now some people say i never shut up about the homosexuality and interracial and no kid's gonna see <laughs> look at how mad he looks in the top left too he's watching him he's <clears throat> link is heterosexual Fishman, it's a heterosexual. It's a, he's like fucking furious. Why even play games? Re I like seriously. Why do anything other than masturbate to interracial NTR porn? I, like if that's where you're gonna be mentally anyway. This shit, but that's exactly how you desensitize people and how you groom them, right? Do you expose them to things? The vow that each of the new sages takes to Link looks like they're proposing to him. <laughs> And Sidon, the giant shark guy, people already made a bunch of gay lewd images between- <laughs> Guys, I'm not overthinking this, alright? I'm not talking about this too much. Just evidence to my point, I have searched over 100 gigabytes of Link X Sidon porn. And uh, from this, my, my, my thorough analysis, I have documented all the- Fine. Oh my god. Why do white supremacists always look like they're the result of four generations of inbreeding? It's like, it's like, uh, I mean, if, if you're like a mediocre person, you tend to turn to other stuff to give your life purpose, right? People do that all across the spectrum, right? That's not like just a Nazi thing, but like, I do think, like, there is a reason why overwhelmingly it's like f***ers on that side of things. Porn addicts as well. I genuinely, I genuinely think that like, that's gotta be the number one inroad to being a modern day neo-Nazi is, is being a porn addict and being like really into interracial cuck shit, but like feeling ashamed and then trying to do the whole like Nazi fake trad cat thing to whip yourself out of it, you know? Uh, it's so funny. Between him and Link when Breath of the Wild came out. Well, now I saw one other clip. I saw, wait, wait, please. There was one other clip that I saw. Yes, please. I'm not convinced. Link was already cross-dresser before this. Yes! He's, yes! The, the, my, his mind is an open book. Yes, please. All right. Let's learn, let's learn more about how normal this guy is. Give him a wife in the story. I'm not convinced. Link was already cross-dresser before this game. Not to mention, an actual child, a bird child, is one of the other sages. Hold out your hand. Jesus, he's hand-mogged by everyone. He's- This is his- this is this guy's life!
literally he he sees two cartoon characters shake hands and he's like jesus the player insert character that i'm playing as is getting hand mogged right now holy f christ he's getting hand mogged it's f over bro it's hand mogged by a child link was destined to be a bottom but so Guys, I think the homosexuality might be coming from inside the house. Live your truth. Over. <laughs> and Riju's a Gerudo, and if you've seen any of their Rule 34, you know they're usually sporting a little something. Whoa, groomer? She's 17 and three quarters, you f pedo. Also, hold on one second. seen any of their Rule 34, you know they're usually sporting a little something extra. Come. That's why I'm good. <laughs> That's why I'm going doing your pussy to As further evidence to how normal I am and how everyone else is groomer and degenerate, I have seen thousands of images of Fuda Gerudo NTR Cuck Hentai porn. And what's more, uh when I when I see the word come in chat, the first thing I think of is the underaged Gerudo woman my character in the at Oh my god, bro. Dude, he's just a f porn addict. Literally. Like, that. <laughs> but, but what I, when I saw this, the thing that really made me laugh is like, this is the kind of guy who thinks he's really f smart and slick. And like, his, his like, uh, they'll never catch, they'll never catch my Nazi points. They'll never catch my anti Semitism. You know, when in reality, it's like he's screaming into a, into a, a bullhorn, you know, that he's a porn addict. Um, yeah, it's just really f funny. Deny, Link. Though obviously that's not canon, but you get the point, man. Every character- Was, that, was he trying to do like a black voice for a f Gerudo woman? Or did I just- Can't put it past this guy. Deny, Link. Though I- That's why I'm- <laughs> That's why I'm going doing your pussy tonight, Link. <laughs> He's retarded. The, for the Gerudo women? You- you, you're not even being racist in the right direction. He said in the video he acknowledged that they were Middle East. Does he does he think that's that's what it's like over in like historical Arabia or something? Go go back and watch um, the Aladdin cartoon, the Disney cartoon, and everyone talks like that over there. Though obviously that's not canon, but you get the point, man. You Every get the point, oh, man. Listen. I ch I chose to look at a bunch of porn of Fuda Gerudo women, and that like says something about the art, man. <laughs> Every character that vows to him might as well be male, figuratively. Now, honestly, I don't actually believe that, but it is the the Gerudo women are male because he saw a bunch of Fuda porn of them. This, this, man, this guy, like all of his decisions, are based on the porn that he's seen. It's crazy. Do you, do you think when he, like, goes to a restaurant and he sits down to order, he looks at the menu items and he's just remembering all of the, like, background, like, image details uh, in images and hentai videos of, like, oh, well, I remember seeing uh, uh, Udon that one time in, in, the, in the one where the black guy came over and became my stepfather. Um, oh, whoa, that's, oh, man, okay, this sushi roll, it looks exactly like that one image that I saw. Of the like food, <laughs> like, no, like really, no, like really, dude. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent chance he can order a pizza without thinking the delivery guy's going to. F yeah, 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 for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, Get, getting horny looking at the IHOP menu because like the maple syrup running down the flapjacks reminds him of like seventy three specific images that he could draw from memory of like come running down a girl's face and the girl's supposed to be like his older sister who's also cheating on him. Or I don't what. This guy, I don't know. This guy probably <laughs> the f connoisseur of genres. Weird enough to be eyebrow racing. Certainly worth making fun of at the very least. And perhaps more importantly than this weird schizo tangent is the fact that time travel completely ruins the story of Breath of. Oh wait, I okay. The last bit of this is literally just him complaining that time travel creates plot holes, which of course it does. Um, it, uh, yeah, I, I remember that. It doesn't even, like, it doesn't have a, um, thing. I don't even, I don't even care to...
it do it doesn't it doesn't fit into my broader narrative that this guy's uh uh come brain. Yeah. Uh, you're saying maybe the Nazi had a point. Well, I I haven't finished Tears of the Kingdom, so uh, I can't really say whether or not time travel ruined the uh the whole story. That was great. Yeah, it's well it is it is sad. That guy that guy seems pretty far gone and he looks old, like maybe, I don't know, mid twenties or something. He's not exactly a 12 year old who got groomed into neo Nazis and whatever. Like this guy had to have made a chain of mistakes to get to the point where he's at right now. Um, it is kind of sad though. Like he doesn't have to be like that. Can you, can you imagine, uh, living your life that way? No, like, I actually, I actually mean it. I'm not doing this as, like, this condescending, like, oh, imagine being that guy. I really genuinely mean, like, imagine, um, like, like, any time you consume media, like, all you have is just, like, uh, it's, like, it's just porn addiction and Nazi shit, really. It's, like, genuinely sad. I, I like, there's no way to say this without it sounding patronizing, and I guess it kind of is, but, like, I do, I do hope he, like, I don't know, grows out of that at some point, because I would, I would not want to. <laughs> live like that um yeah i always take in this stuff as cautionary yeah 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 like you can you can look at that and go like wow you know what paths in life might i have taken that could have led me to being that sad and like what you know I, I, clearly i'm not now but like what what can i learn from it and it's always good to learn from stuff like that i mean i have issues with excess porn consumption but not nazism okay to be clear look i've talked about this a lot before but i want to make my views clear all right porn addiction is a is a a social or psychological addiction in the sense that it's not like a chemical addiction the way that you can get chemically addicted to like crack or or alcohol or whatever um but you can become psychologically addicted to basically anything and generally speaking an addiction is counted as such when it has a negative impact in your life so um if a person like looks at porn a lot or a decent amount or whatever but it doesn't get in the way of anything they do, or it doesn't negatively affect their life. They just happen to do that. That's not necessarily an addiction. There are people who have porn addictions, and I think that's that's bad. Like, you know, ideally people would never have any addictions because addictions are definitionally something that are negative. That's the, how it's termed. Um, but I think in the case of like Nazi shit like this, right, the main problem isn't just the porn addiction. It's the shame of the porn addiction and of the porn that you're looking at too, right? Because it's possible to have a porn addiction and just to be like, wow, I just really like titties, you know? You, 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 like someone confronts you, you're just like, I just, I just really like looking at tits, I'm sorry, you know? Maybe it can still be a negative effect in your life, but you're not ashamed of the fact that you like looking at big tits. So I don't think you're causing uh, this, like, this like pathology. I don't think you're building up this weird like knot of insecurity I've said this a million times before, but like go on 4chan and you will see at least on poll or like the associated boards, uh, like a 50, 50 mixture of far right politics, you know, expressed semi ironically because a lot of these guys aren't even sure if they're being serious and interracial and transgender porn. And a lot of that is because, um, these guys are deeply insecure, uh, of both their sexual identity, uh, their sexual interests. Oh, and, and also like, you know, they're sense of entitlement like well why don't i have a girlfriend you know uh and that all builds up and it makes them what they are it's pretty sad it's and and it's one of the reasons why it's almost impossible to argue with them in a way that'll change their mind because in their mind when you're arguing about how like immigration doesn't actually like hurt america and how like um people become less racist the more time they spend with each other and how the jq conspiracy shit is like com complete nonsense in their mind and i'm being serious when i say this it sounds facetious but in their mind what they're thinking about is a black woman, I'm oh, sorry, a, a black guy, a white woman who they want to be their girlfriend. I know that sounds really reductive, but I genuinely mean it. You can see a lot of this like express itself in racial politics in this country for centuries and in different versions in different countries because racial politics vary. But like, that's what they're thinking of. Underneath all the politics is this like deep seated grievance. And I can't logically argue somebody out of the completely irrational belief that they were like destined to have some like beautiful trad wife, white girl, and that's been taken from them by the Jews through interracial. You, you, like you, yeah you know you have to get at them in a different way ideally by keeping them from falling down that rabbit hole to begin with that would be nice that would be that would be
preferable, I think. Um, but it's one of the reasons why I've always been very sympathetic to people who used to be Nazis or far right or whatever, who move out of that. Because it takes a lot of internal critique to get out of that position, you know? Like, a lot of internal critique. Like, this is one of the reasons why you have a lot of dipshits on Twitter who pat themselves on the back because they, like, never had a Nazi phase. But if you talk to them for five minutes, they're actually deeply reactionary in a lot of issues. Uh, but they don't examine it because they, like, you know, they've met the incredibly low bar of, like, not having had parents or friend groups at 12 years old that moved them into those positions. So because they get complacent, they're never critical of the other stuff they believe. Um, which is, which is pretty bad. You know, it's pretty bad. But we should always reserve a lot of empathy for people who have moved over. After they move over, of course. If they haven't moved over yet, you don't have to be empathetic towards the weird porn addict Nazis. That's okay. Uh, you know, or well, you can, sorry, I shouldn't say, you don't have to be, uh, uh, um, conciliatory towards them or appreciative um empathy i guess is always good you can yeah empathy is always good because empathy is about understanding so you're telling me all the problems of humanity is because people are getting cock blocked look i i don't want to get too like evo psych about this but the main thing that biological organisms are supposed to do before we die is produce offspring that is literally the thing that is the thing we're supposed to do and obviously we're humans, we're smart, we're complicated, we have risen above the base, like, moral prerogatives of our instinctual behavior for, for to a large extent. But people still have very strong emotional attachments to their understanding of, like, family, reproduction, sexuality, that kind of stuff. And yeah, like, that legitimately will significantly affect a person's politics. It's hardwired into our DNA to care a lot about this stuff. So if people are fed narratives that make them feel like that's being threatened, that's like a vulnerable point for them, especially when they're going through puberty, because that that's an emotionally vulnerable point for them, like, anyway, you know? But people are different. 